Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. My name is Renata and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my October sewing plans. Now I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. I am a little bit nervous because when you do something that is so concrete that you're saying to a lot of people that this is what you're going to make and some things in life come up and you don't do it, that usually gets me stressed out. So I, I find it hard to make planning videos however today I decided that I'm going to do it it's October we're wrapping up the year here in the next few months and I feel like this is definitely the time to try and be accountable and work towards being consistent on my channel so if you guys are interested and want to know what I hope to achieve by the end of October please meet me in the next section all right, so one of the first patterns that I would like to work on this month, and you guys may have seen it on my previous video from this week, is one of Mimi G's pattern, and it is M9370. It is this beautiful pattern here. Now, I don't have a fabric for this. However, I'm really feeling that some sort of emerald green fabric would work very well for this dress. I think it's going to be a fairly quick make because there isn't a whole lot going on except with the cutout details. As you guys can see, it does have that beautiful detail which is on trend like I stated in my previous video. I want to make this so bad. However, I'm, I'm feeling version A is what I want. I prefer a straighter, silhouette what do you guys think the blue looks so beautiful and i think if we did that in some sort of emerald green it would look really magnificent so that is the first pattern that i want to start just sewing hopefully i can get to cutting these patterns out this weekend and then start sewing in the coming week maybe i will attempt to do a follow-up during the week to let you guys know where i am i might even start back doing my friday sews so you guys can see if i've completed anything and just you know continue on that um accountability step where i want to share and motivate myself to get projects done that I say I will do. So let's move on to the next pattern. And it is again from Simplicity, which I shared earlier this week. This one is the 9385. I have a fabric that I am thinking about this. However, the fabric could work for another pattern that I will share later on in this video. So hold on one sec while I go grab it right here and I will show you guys the one that I'm thinking about for this pattern. Okay, so earlier this year I had went to Joann's and I, I was only on one hunt and it was with thread and after finding thread I found this fabric so I'm thinking this would work really nice for version B or C please let me know your thoughts I'm thinking version B or C however the lines of A just gives me more of this fabric so I'm thinking A would be a better option what do you think what are your thoughts again this is the fabric as you can see it's really pretty it has a really nice hand to it it feels so good and the stretch and recovery of this one is really nice so i'm thinking that this would work really well for this pattern simplicity 9385 okay so the other pattern that I have here is one of the simplicities again. I just thought I would share these first because they're the ones that are close at hand. So I am looking at pattern, I'm looking at style B or version B for this pattern S9374. I think I might want to make B. There is a cardigan that I would like to make this year, but it's not from any of these patterns. 
but this sleeveless vest kind of has me interested i don't have any fabric for it however i have been looking at style maker fabric and they have a few that are possible pairing for this pattern and i'm thinking that i will probably get it in the next few days or sometime this weekend because I really want to start getting the projects going because before you know it time has gone and that's it right so i want to get working on these projects i really really like version b i never thought i'd be considering such a pattern like this i'm going to show you guys again because it definitely looks like a golfer's vest i know that sounds really like lame or boring or whatever but it also has some sort of what would I say? I feel it still looks very stylish. I mean, it's it's a different sort of stylish. It's not like super sexy stylish, but it's more of a classy stylish, in my opinion. I could be completely wrong, but we are all different and we have different likes and tastes. So that is my take on this pattern. And maybe it's just me trying to push myself to try something different that I'm not 100% sure but to pull the complete outfit together and make an amazing wow look that you wouldn't typically think of because you're like, oh, who's gonna wear that vest? It's kind of boring. So maybe that's just what's going on in my mind. So let's take a look at the other fabric that I have and I'm gonna share with you some of the potential makes for this month are from my most recent Britter style. I have the September issue here to show you as well as the October issue. So just hang on one sec, let me just grab those. So let's start with the September issue of Britter style. So this is the magazine that we're gonna look at. There are two or three designs here that I really like and I know it feels like I'm biting off way too much that I can chew, but the patterns are really, really nice and I would like to try them out. So the first one that I am highly considering is this top here. It's very simple, it's a quick make. It is design 102A from the September 2021 issue. Here it is. Now it looks pretty much like something you've seen everywhere, but I like the contrast that they have placed on this blouse it just looks so good and i can see myself in this entire outfit but right now i'm focusing on the tops what do you guys think let me share with you the fabric that i have so for my fabric option i have this zimmerman fabric here that i purchased during the summer months and i didn't get any time to sew it this is a polyester fabric so it's like a knit polyester it's got a really nice smooth hand and the design is just so amazing and beautiful everything you'd expect from Zimmerman with all the details the foliage it's got that sort of prairie look to it because of the color combo and I'm going to open it out here so you guys can really get a nice view of the entire thing So there is that fabric and another pattern that would work really well for that fabric let's see if i can grab it here i actually think it's from the october issue so this is the october issue what i'm thinking of maybe in this one yes it is it is it is design 111 out of this 10 2021 magazine and let me just get it here for you today or tomorrow because clearly the magazine is winning and I can flip my pages properly Oh, for the love. Okay, finally. <laughs> okay, so this is the other option and I really like it. Actually, 
pa um, pattern design 111 is the dress version but this is 112 and what do you guys think of this one I'm really really going for this one I, I love that roll neck it's just so pretty the color that they use is amazing it's just so vibrant it's that deep rust an uh, orange rust color which is perfect and which is ideal for this time of the year so i may use that pattern with this fabric but style makers fabric have a beautiful color in a ribbed knit similar to this one it's just the same bright color I would love to have that and I do have it in my cart so that might be on a future fabric haul video but this is definitely one that I would like to try so I have two blouses that I have already put my my name on for this month and then the other pattern that I'm considering and I know I said I'm not going to use any of the cardigans from the big four because I have been searching for a similar cardigan to the Blackburn and I haven't bought that Blackburn pattern yet. I've been wanting to buy it and I'm like, there's got to be a birder style that has that pattern. It is, it's just impossible that they haven't produced a cardigan that is so similar that has that ready to wear feel to it that looks so good and lo and behold this issue provides that it is the cardigan 111 from the october issue and here it is i'm a 100 percent in love with this cardigan this is what i've been looking for and i i just i'm just really happy because i would not have been satisfied with myself if I had purchased the Blackburn and then this came up because I already have too much patterns but I'm so glad that I waited I was patient that has been in my card for almost two years now and I'm glad that I have um, had the patience to wait and now I have a pattern that's pretty much identical and it was just something that I received monthly so those are the patterns from this magazine that I want to make for the month of October. There are a few beautiful designs here and I just wanted to share with you a fabric that I might consider working with this month but so far we've had three projects already and I don't want to burn myself out with sharing tons of things that I want to make because when I come back here at the end of the month I really want to have a hundred percent of what I said I would do completed because it just shows my consistency my dedication and also this is kind of like making a promise to myself and I hate to break promises so let me just share with you the fabric that I would like to work with because I purchased these in the summer month and I just I bought them on a whim. I had no reason to. I just loved them and I bought them. <laughs> so this is another one that can be a candidate for one of those jersey patterns that I shared. So don't be surprised if I come back and I'm like, oh, I made an extra top or I had enough time to complete it. This would be one of the fabrics that you would see. And this came from Joanne. It has a really, really nice brushed feel to it. And I love that the recovery is really good as well. So it does not feel like a, a flimsy fabric. It's, it's got a beautiful recovery and so beautiful. And the colors are very vibrant. So this is one that you may see completed this month. And the last fabric that I'm going to share with you is one that I purchased again earlier this year and I just haven't had the time to work with it. I'm gonna make a hoodie with this. I really love the Bella Love Interstellar hoodie, which I showcased earlier this week on Instagram because that was the, the hoodie that I tested. And I'm gonna use this fabric from me.
it's got a really really nice weight it's perfect for this season and I know I shared this earlier this year with you guys but I'm actually going to be working on these fabrics so I thought I would share because I have all intentions to get these things completed and that interstellar hoodie from uh, Bella Loves is a really quick make and the instructions are they're very simple to follow, it's straightforward, you're not gonna get confused in any way, and it's gonna look so good. And with the update, after we did the testing, it comes with uh, pockets in the front, so that kangaroo pocket is in the design. If uh, you saw it earlier this year and you're like, oh, it came out, and what is this? They added the kangaroo pockets, and I love those too. I'm a big fan of zipper fronts, but I don't mind uh, a hoodie that has to be pulled over your head. So, guys, those are the fabric and the patterns that I hope to be working with and have completed pieces for you guys by the end of the month. Now, let me share two or three of my favorite patterns. So, these are my top picks from the November and October issue of Birder Style. Please meet me in the next section where we'll go through those. Okay, friends, first up from the November issue is Design 108. I love this midi dress. I like the pin tucks that they have in the front of this dress. It's very flattering. I think it would make a very beautiful dress for the fall season as you are transitioning from summer to more winter style dresses. Another of my top pick is blouse 117. Now this one is made out of a poplin, so it's more of a woven style fabric that you're gonna to use to work with this pattern. And one thing I really like about this is all the details that comes on the sleeve of this blouse it is just a fantastic it's going to look so streamlined classic it's something that you can wear with the jeans you can also wear this with skirts but i feel like trousers are the way to go with this one even wide legs i know that it may has a lot it may have a lot of volume in the uh, shoulder area on the sleeves but again if you wear like boot cuts or a slightly wider leg pants it's going to look really nice because you're going to have a little volume on the top and then you're going to cinch it in and then your wide leg pants is going to create a little balance at the bottom half of you and then you'll be left with the center piece which slims out the entire look so that one is another top pick so lastly, from this September issue, I rarely make skirts and I have a goal to make more skirts in the coming year, but this design, which is a pencil skirt, but it has a unique waistband. I think it's very beautiful. It's a great silhouette and it looks amazing. Also loving the midi length of this one. What do you guys think? If you look here, you'll, yeah. If you look here, you'll see that design on the waistband it's so beautiful it also covers the tummy and it gives you a slimmer look because it's more of a high-waisted style skirt so that is my top pick from the september issue i feel like i'm missing a dress from in here but i could be wrong i'm pretty sure it's in the october issue so let's jump over to that magazine so now this is the front of the October magazine and I feel like I'm going to make this dress in the month of November because it's just such a beautiful silhouette. Now I already mentioned this dress. It's a cocktail dress. It's design 118 from the October 2021 issue of Birder's Style. But I do love this dress. I love all the details. I'm sure you're going to have to deal with some boning to create this look. But it is a magnificent dress. If you guys see, there it is. And they have a few uh, details and trimming added there. But look at how amazing it looks. I'm pretty sure the fabric that you're going to use is some sort of satin or brocade. Something that has a lot of structure. But can be easily worn and not too stiff or uncomfortable the next pattern that i really like is the blouse this is 105b that's the style number and one thing i like about this blouse is the pleating details now the fabric recommendation is silk i have recently made a silk blouse and 
I'm not happy with working with silk because it's such a finicky thing and it drives you up a wall and you're gonna lose your mind and you're gonna pull out all your hair and you're gonna wonder why you're bald. But that's how I feel working with silk. So I will not recommend silk for this. However, I would recommend any fabric that has sort of a silk-like look and feel, but it does not slip. Good luck with that. And if you know what one of those fabrics may be named, please send it my way because I would love to use it. Here is the pattern. And I just love all the pleatings over here and along the the buttons down the front I think it looks amazing it's just such a beautiful shirt okay now moving on and like I said the dress that I am thinking about is in here I think it's such a wonderful design for the holiday season there are a few nice dresses in here but I really really love love this one that i'm going to share with you whenever it decides to um, pop up while i'm searching through the magazine here i'm going to have to add okay so this is a midi dress it is 110 i'm feeling that this isn't the dress that really had my mind going crazy but this one is really pretty. And I think it has a lot to do with the fabric options that was used to create this dress. It's a very simple, very beautiful dress. It has a lot of movement. It's very fluid, but not the exact one I was thinking about, but this is a great pick and I really like it. For the fabric on this wrap style dress, they've used a viscose, so probably, um, a viscose crepe or something that has a really nice movement and hand to it wait for it guys I'm gonna find that dress so I'm really sure that I'm gonna be wrong and it's going to be in the September issue and yes I am correct now it is in the September issue and what I love about this dress other than the fabric is just the that pleating all those pin tucks that they have along here so this is the dress and here it is if you guys can get a good close-up look but if you don't I'm going to grab some images off the internet and place it so you guys can see what I'm talking about really really love this dress the fabric is really the uh, tension grabber here again it's a viscose so it's gonna be easy to sew and I love fabrics that are easy to sew because you don't lose your mind and you are very happy when you complete your projects so guys that is it for me today thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate you taking time to head over here sit down and watch the video it means so much to me if you enjoyed it I would love for you to click the subscribe button if you're new here and for those those of you that have visited me more than once so thank you have a wonderful day i will see you on another upload and that's pretty much it i'll talk to you guys soon bye bye